na si Maria, nung araw na siya ay kinonceive ni Saint Anne, siya ay walang kasalanan at uh, walang bahid ng original sin. Actually, this doctrine is false. Isang magandang 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 araw po sa ating lahat. Ako nga pala si Sherbon. Today is December 8 at sa Pilipinas sinaselebrate ang Immaculate Conception. Kaya wala po klase ang aking anak ngayon. <laughs> Yan. So, ano nga ba itong Immaculate Conception na ito? No? It is often assumed that the doctrine of Immaculate Conception refers to Jesus. Dahil o nga naman, no, si, siya kinunceive ng Holy Spirit, born ng Virgin Mary. And ang sinasabi ng Biblia, siya ay unblemished ng sin. Wala siyang sin. And sabi sa Matthew 1 verse 18, Now the birth of Jesus took place in this way. When his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph before they came together, she was found to be with child from the Holy Spirit. Yun yung Matthew 1 verse 18. At oo, oh, oh, that is immaculate. Ibig sabihin, Uh, unstained of sin. Walang sin si Jesus. However, hindi po ito ang uh, doktrina ng Immaculate Conception. It does not refer to Jesus at all. Ito ay tumutukoy kay Maria. Kay, uh, kay Mary. Yan. Ang Immaculate Conception po ay isang uh, doktrina ng Romano-Katolikong simbahan na nagsasabi na, ang, na si Maria nung araw na siya ay kinunceive ni Saint And siya ay walang kasalanan at uh, walang bahid ng original sin. Ito ang sinasabi ng Immaculate Conception. So, sa, ano, sa Infallibilis Deus of 1870 na sinulat ni Pope Pius IX, ang sabi doon, we declare, pronounce, and define that the doctrine which holds that the most blessed Virgin Mary in the f- uh, first instant of her conception by a singular grace and privilege granted by Almighty God in view of the merits of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the human race, was preserved free from all stains of original sin. Uh, it's a doctrine revealed by God and therefore to believe Firmly and constantly by all faithful. Yan. So, in short, pinaniniwalaan ni Pope Pius IX na si Mary ay walang sin. She is sinless. Walang bahid ng kahit konting kasalanan. And ito yung pinaniniwalaan pag sinabing Immaculate Conception. But, uh, actually, this doctrine is false. Yan. It is not found in Scripture. Wala siya sa Scripture. Kasi sabi po sa Uh, sa Bible, in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Ibig sabihin, lahat tayo makasalanan at walang ni isa sa atin na hindi. And si Jesus mismo ang nagsabi na there is no one good except God. Sabi niya sa Mark 10 verse 18 at saka sa Luke 18 verse 19, wala tayong, walang kahit sino man na uh, makakapagsabi na siya ay walang sin except God, except Uh, Yahweh except Jesus Christ so yan and, and uh, if you remember in the Old Testament may isang ginagawa ang mga Hudyo kapag katapos mga anak uh, nung si Mary had given birth to Jesus anong ginawa nila uh, anong ginawa nila Mary had um, after Mary had given birth to Jesus Si Joseph, dinala sila, si Jesus at saka si Mary, sa temple to offer a sacrifice of two turtle doves or two young pigeons according to the law. You can read that in Luke chapter 2 verse 20 to 24. Sabi doon, And when the time came for their purification according to the law of Moses, they, bought, uh, they brought him to, up to Jerusalem and present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who first opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and offer sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. We read in Leviticus chapter 12 that after mother has given birth, 
she is to go to a time of purification. Sabi dito, yan, Luke 12 verse 1 to 8, And when the day of her purifying and purifying are completed, she shall bring to the priest at the entrance of the tent of the meeting a lamb a year old for burnt offering and a pigeon or a turtle dove for a sin offering. Yan, and he shall offer it before the Lord and make atonement for her. So, ibig sabihin, kino-consider na may sin yung babae. If she cannot afford a lamb, then she shall take two turtle doves or two pigeons, one for a burnt offering and the other for a sin offering. The priest shall make atonement for her and, the, and she shall be clean. So, ito exactly yung ginawa ni Joseph at ni Mary sa Luke 2 verse 22 to 24. So, kung si Mary ay sinless, hindi niya na kailangan na gawin ito kung sinless siya. She was a godly woman, but she is not sinless. Dinawi natin yan. And though Mary, uh, though Mary and Joseph were poor to afford, uh, to afford the lamb, meron naman talaga silang lamb na kasama. Yan. The lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. In John 1 verse 29, sabi doon, Behold, the lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. And Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Sinasabi sa 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7. Kasi si Jesus, he committed no sin. Jesus was born sinless. Uh, he was conceived sinless. Uh, he was tempted as we are, yet without sin. Sabi yan sa 1 Peter 22, uh, 2, 22 at saka sa Hebrews 4 verse 15. The Bible says, Only Jesus is without sin. I hope na itindihan natin ito and if you are interested more sa mga itong usapan, please like, share, and subscribe and share this to your friends. Maraming maraming salamat po. See you next time. Again, iwan ko sa inyo. Be the miracle. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye.